So they have the two blockers that they made thanks to the Desert Naturalist. That's, all, that's why that part was so good. Hopefully lethal. Just let the damage happen, please. Because I'm kind of going all in here. Yes! Got him. Thank you, Nocturne. Thanks for being great. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall aggro. It's been a while since we've played Diana Nocturne Nightfall. So let's try it again. This is a viewer submitted list um, that looks pretty good. It's really low to the ground and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, 30 of our 40 cards, 75% cost either 0, 1, or 2 mana. And a lot of these cards go ahead and replace themselves. And so I like that we have that low curve. Like Heaven's Align will enable our Nightfall cards, but then it turn into a different, larger, night, more expensive Nightfall card probably for us. This will help with the, you know, the expensive top end stuff. Same kind of thing with Unspeakable Horror. Again, we'll create random Nightfall cards with both of those. Then we got some card draw with the Pale Cascades, Unto Dusks, drawing cards. The Flight is, um, I, I like the Flight as a one drop in these. It's aggressive, it's elusive, and it's just a really good card to play before your Nightfall stuff, right? Because you can play it for one mana, then play your Nightfall stuff afterwards. And then it shuffles back into the top three of your decks. You draw it again. So again, you get to play it and then play your Nightfall stuff. It's a wonderful Nightfall enabler. All right, but let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. We'll have Doom Beast at the top end, Nocturne doing its thing. This looks like a good list. Nightfall aggro. Here we go. We'll go play five games in ranked. Okay, Poppy Ziggs. So we got Ziggs version of Poppy. Heading on over to Sharima. This is a really good hand. I could see Mulliganing the Nocturne, but I love Heaven's Align, love the Diana. Maybe we do Mulligan Nocturne. All right, we'll send it back. Because it's going to be a while before we play that Nocturne. I mean, maybe not that long. Okay, so we're probably just going to... Yeah, we're just going to pass the round here. Get the two spell mana. Oh. How would I change the new champ tier list was the question. Uh, definitely Poppy go up. You know, Poppy would go up to like S tier. You know, Scion would probably bump up a tier. All right, so they're passing to me. I definitely see, could see this being Merciless Hunter. Meteor Shower or Warrior? I think Meteor Shower. Meteor Shower can like kill a Poppy immediately. Okay, this is a Ziggs. Yeah, Diana's Sentinel skin is really good. It's always been a difficult deck to pilot of like exactly when like how to play all these different cards. Exactly what to do. It does allow me to continue to play Diana this round, but that Diana will be simply a 2-2. Two -two. I'm glad no Poppy, right? Like I'm that's like the thing is they worried about like this kind of line and they play a Poppy. Open our hearts to her gentle light. I cannot turn back. Are Diana still vulnerable to different things like Purple Berry Shake? So maybe I shouldn't be playing the Diana here while it is vulnerable. Because obviously I can be making the Diana a lot bigger later. Face your heretic. So we may completely regret this. But hopefully not. It's gonna blow! Yep. And that's the card that Conchal just created. It's a very shake. Let us take a peek at life beneath the wave. 
science is our way. It's very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. What's a Riven deck to recommend for ranked right now? Maybe Riven and Lee Sin together? Probably Ri yeah, probably Riven Lee Sin. I was planning on just on having the Crescent Guardian challenge the mayor, and then the Nocturne just deal damage to them, but now this thing blocks the Nocturne. Our opponents today have kind of just always had, like, a really good card for the situation, right? Like, that's the kind of day it has been. It's just whatever they have, like, whatever they could want, they have. So we'll definitely stun that thing. Take three down to four. Probably can't do that. Darkness hides in my path. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is five, six. Gives me two other mana. Wow. What a card. Getting multiple five mana units like that. Wow, what a card. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so right now they have they have if I attack out. Everything gains fearsome. So they have three blockers. I can make it two blockers with the help of this unto dusk. Let's say I do that. They can block the six three and the four one. And take ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so this would be lethal if they don't have a pump spell, but I think they have a spell from the conchologist. But I think we go ahead and try lethal. Um. Well, could be two extra damage, that could matter. They have the two blockers that they made thanks to the Desert Naturalist. That's why, that's why that part was so good. Hopefully lethal. Just let the damage happen, please. Because I'm kind of going all in here. Yes! Got him. Thank you, Nocturne. Thanks for being great. Lulu Puppy. Another poppy deck, no surprise. This is a good hand, but kind of a weird hand as well. Like, it's not getting us a lot of things to do right away, but Unspeakable Horror and Pale Cascade are two of the best cards in the deck. Then we have Nocturne. I could, last time I sent away Nocturne, and I didn't really regret it. I should maybe be sending away Nocturne again. Everything's better with 
company. Says you. Yeah, says you. Let's move. So I can either play Solari Soldier or have Unspeakable Horror slash Pale Cascade available this round, and I guess I have those other ones available. Their sense travels in the night air. <laughs> I think probably Teemo Caitlyn, as far as competitive Caitlyn decks go, I would recommend Teemo Caitlyn with um, Frel Yord. That would be my pick there. Clips Dragon. See, we still play top end cards. We just gotta create them first. Everything's better with company. Says you. That was a lot of Green Glade duos they had going on over there. I'm kinda surprised it made that trade. Surprised. Bless the faithful and see at the Alright, we've attacked with two nightfall allies. I've got your back. The fool they tried to blind me with resplendent. We're gonna go with the double spelling with these two instead of the nocturne. So yeah, I should have mulliganed the Nocturne. Lesson learned, Harvey. Let's mulligan Nocturne. Alright, but now Nocturne level up. Where are you going? No closer. Okay, so I can save Diana or save the Guardian with this Pale Cascade. I think we save the Diana. The, I don't know, the Guardian's like really big in Overwhelm. If I put the Pale Cascade on the Guardian, it's also one additional damage to them. Alright, never mind, we'll just kill the duo. It's pretty hard to imagine that we're, you know, getting killed with just one duo and two other cards. Okay, so you don't get the summon ability. I'm not sure. I guess we would have had to have Nightfall anyway. But so, like, this... We now can't do the Unto Dusk on the, the Nocturne play. They'll never see us coming. Perfect card to draw. Alright, that'll do. We're 2-0. Oh. Yes. And another Poppy deck. Three for three, playing against Poppy. Today we've played against either two or three decks total that don't have Lulu or Poppy in them. All right, so we're gonna Mulligan Moonlight Affliction and I think we'll keep the rest. I could see letting the Crescent Guardian go I'll keep it, but I could see letting that go. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Ooh, 
the flight. Ours is the one true light. Flight's not bad. I'll go ahead and go with the flight over the onlooker. We should go with the onlooker. The onlooker attacks for one for the uh, for the nocturne level up. You know, be one out of five. The flight is a really good com combo with fading memories because if you uh, if you make the flight ephemeral, it will still There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Nothing you can't fix. I don't know about that. Anyway, if you make it ephemeral, it will still go on top of your deck in, like, the top three cards of your deck and uh, before before it dies. There we go. That was not a very good description, but you get it. They're down to seven. It's pretty nice having like everything cost one mana. And the flight does a great job of enabling our nightfall for different cards. Should be drawing the flight right here. Oh, heavens aligned? I guess that's still the same kind of thing. I thought I was drawing the flight right there. But you oh. I thankfully we had the cloven way. Thankfully. Alright, so none of their stuff will be able to block. Man, thankfully we had that Cloven way. That that Heavens Align hitting that. <laughs> that worked out. That was scary with the aloof travelers. And that's gonna be game. Another win for Nightfall Aggro. Good win against Lulu Poppy. GG's. Alright, here's Caitlin Timo. Caitlin you know, hopefully we can go underneath Caitlin Timo and um, you have a bunch of good cheap cards, but we need units. We need cheap units. This is the worst hand we've had so far. No one drop. We have, we have all the the flights, the Lunari Dustbringers. Um, and uh, even the Solari Soldier. No one drop for us. But yeah, worst worst hand we've had so far. Yeah, Heaven's Aligned is amazing in this deck. It has really, really improved the power level of this deck. That card is perfect. Keep all flammables on the trail. Woo! 
food out of tents. One step ahead. Now we wait. I'm a good hand with their champions. Alright, four mana. What are, we, what are we doing? Just an awkward hand. Turn. How's it going? Hell, wait up. I figured they'd have a card like that and play the onlooker. Caitlin with these flash bombs. Let's investigate. Those are gonna be a problem. So I want to we could we could play Fading Memories right now and then enable Nightfall, then play like Shade Stalker and Doom Beast. But I do want the Fading I'd rather Fading Memories the Doom Beast to get another drain too. I I feel like I'd rather have that. I guess you just don't always get what you want. Mother Moon, me. I have not tried Viego Scion yet, no. It probably is. Yeah, I could see it being strong. There's a lot of good Shadow Isles stuff for Scion. But no, that's not something I've tried. You don't want to Unto Dusk first, because you, you have to have the Nightfall for this ability. You, we're not going to lead with Unto Dusk. We could lead, we could lead with Nocturne. But I think I'm going to lead Shade Stalker into Nocturne. But you can lead with Nocturne, because, you know, it levels up and still has that whole thing. Makes life a lot more difficult. It would have been a lot better if we could attack with the Nocturne. We can't, like, challenge, like, have Caitlyn strike. I don't want Caitlyn to strike and give me more flash bombs. I don't want that to happen. want to flash bomb this doom beast wow I aim to win and my aim is man that's some bad luck that's some really really poor luck examining the evidence Some truly poor luck. Not just a seven. Never mind, this game's over. We lost the game. And that seemed like a game that. Like that just seems like a matchup that shouldn't be that bad. They they really were pretty good anti aggro with all the, like the one mana deal one darts and stuff like that. They had a lot of those and you know they they were able to play the Caitlyn on round three and get a lot of flash bombs super fast. I think that any other like if they don't have Caitlyn on round three, I think that we'll probably win the matchup. But oh well.
All right, Riven Nocturne. What are we doing here? This is a better hand than last time, but still kind of awkward. I guess we're going to keep the Pell Cascade Dustbringer, but at least we have a one-mana card this time. That was the other thing. My, you know, last game, our, our hand was very awkward with no, no one-drop, no... We had, like, no enablers either. For the only time... I guess I'm playing Diana on two. Don't usually play Diana on two. But I think that's what we're gonna do here. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Lunari, rise, face your heretic. Oh Gibbs, do we Did I just play against you, Gibbs? If so, GG's, but it was really just an awkward hand of everything costing like two and three mana, no no one cost cards and just couldn't ever enable Nightfall. It was what conflict awaits. We will resist. Okay, so one out of four. Two, three. Nah. Okay, yeah, you're the team of deck, yep, you got us. Heavens and mind. The full moon awakens the soul. They got Doom Beast? I'm playing Doom Beast. Yep, I yep, see your donation deck there, devil. Yep. I'll write it down after this. So they had Doom Beast and on two dusk. Yeah, we really need those one drops, right? Dustbringer, Solari Soldier, Heavens Aligned, the Flight. There's a lot of them in here. But we gotta have them. Alright, so they're going to have a decent amount of these Reforged Tokens. I think two. I think two of these four cards are Reforged Tokens. Could be wrong about that. I was actually plan planning on just going Guardian, Guardian. Yeah, so just using Reforged Token to turn on Nightfall. down to 15. I could do, you know, more damage by attacking my Crescent Guardian into the Doom Beast, but don't really want to do that. They're draining us out pretty good, but we control the board. Yeah, I could see Riven Nami being good. Yeah, Riven Nami could do some work. I waste a lot more mana than them if I pass, but I guess I have a lot better board, so I guess I can pass. Just why even play that card right now? You already have Nightfall enabled. I guess I should have played the Guardian. Of need. 
All right, that'll do. And so we got a four and one with Nightfall Aggro. Kind of a weird game there, that last one, but um, you know, they were really using a lot of resources trying to just do Nexus damage to us while we were using our resources to control the board, and we outlasted them. So there we go. That's Nightfall Aggro. It looked really, really good. I mean, I think we got pretty unlucky one game where we had a whole lot of two, like our whole hands were like twos and threes and stuff like that that with that were all like Nightfall cards. And you see, that's not very much of our deck. A lot of our deck is the enablers. Um, and uh, so, you know, we got unlucky one time, but that's all right. Um, you know, that's going to happen. Overall, I think it, it looked really strong. We were beating a lot of Poppy decks. We were going underneath them. And Nocturne was really impressive of finishing games out with the uh, with the fearsome, right? Giving everything, you know, giving all your stuff fearsome. That was a really strong card. Very, very impressed with the deck. So Nightfall Aggro, that's a, it's a you know very good Diana deck. I've had some people ask for a new Diana deck recently, and so hopefully, if you you know if you're looking for a new Diana deck, hopefully try this one out. You know, this one was built by a viewer, not me. But I think they did a, a really good job. You, you can tell they played a lot of Nightfall Aggro. You know, like the one Solari Soldier, you kind of need it sometimes. The one Solari Sunhawk, stuff like that. You kind of need some of these cards. I think they did a really well, really good job putting the deck together. It's really well built. And um, I, yeah, I'd recommend it. Look good. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Noc Nightfall Aggro. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. If you're trying this Nightfall Aggro deck, definitely let me know how it's going for you over in the comment section. But that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.